It's opening night, and there's a tremendous amount of buzz around this team. And we are about set to drop the puck on this season. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. The rookie, he's hunting down his first goal. Tries to feed it over to Voracek. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time in space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's Scores! The rookie with his first. Yeah, his first goal in his first game. That didn't take long now, did it, James? And that's going to give you a ton of confidence. I mean, just to get set, get that under your belt. He won't forget that one. Welcome to the show. Anytime you're in the grade-A scoring, chances in your funnel tight to the net. You want to make sure you get a quick-release shot off. There's coverage there. It's all about accuracy at that point, and he doesn't miss. Sure, what a moment to have in your first game. Mom and Dad must be just over the moon right now watching this. Well, so is the rookie, right, James? You get your first goal in your first game, and it's so difficult to go out there, manage the nerves, try and play free. I'll tell you what gets you settled right in. With a goal. Layton's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Konechny's been under a lot of pressure and distractions while there's been talks about his contract extension, but now that it's done and the agents have shored it up, he can be free, he can play his game and get rid of all that stuff in his head. And he shut the door on that last play. That's an excellent save, James, but the goaltender knew that that shot was coming. The whole mantra around this team is to set him up for the one-timer, and he was set. It was right in his wheelhouse. The goaltender just made a fantastic save. The Flyers gain possession. Passes the puck over to Atkinson. Gains the zone through center. And that's a great heads-up play by Silverberg. Loose puck battle along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And it's kicked away. And he takes the feed. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Jostles the puck loose. And it's a quick pass to Koibu. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. The Flyers take it along the wall. Across the line, along the left wall. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. The Flyers have played from the defensive zone. Feeds it to Lawton. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. Handles the pass. Stop that one. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Came up with the save on that play. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Goaltender had no idea it was coming. 
Minnesota's taken a two-goal lead already here in the first period. They look dominant tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, they've been terrific tonight, James, and they've been able to execute. They've thrown a lot of pucks to the net, but they've managed it extremely well. They've opened up their own lanes, and they've got the opportunities. Passes it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. the midway mark in this period. Minnesota's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Sends the feet in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Moves it quickly over to Richards. Here's a shot, and that caroms off a body in the lane. Gives it right back. They've got numbers, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, what another save! Michael's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. Oh, the whole team is reeling here inside the defensive zone, and the fans are nervous. And it's picked up by the D. Slides the puck across to Champion. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Chris has got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop his team effectively. Niskanen's a steady defender who's known to join the rush. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Minnesota's crossed the line and on the attack. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Philadelphia's got the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick feed to Lawton. Oh, he caught him! Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toe. Score! There it is! His first of the season, and look at the smile! Unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. Minnesota's looking to take this lead into the intermission here as they've put a lot of hooks on net so far. Philadelphia's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Sends a pass in front. Oh, what a chance, and he fanned on the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Cole. Oh. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Things start to get a little physical out there. Moves it to Stahl. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Handles the puck from the left side. Barrett is going to play it against the left side. It's in! He scores! A couple goals in a minute 50, James. Incredible. Look at this. We've got a break. Well, it looks like they've reset the table. I mean, didn't get the start that they wanted. Found themselves behind the eight ball, but it's amazing, James. It's an old cliche, but the game is never over until it's over. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a tie game. The Flyers win the draw here in the neutral zone. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Love that hit. It's a two-on-one. Sticks inside. And they fail to capitalize on the play. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Picks up the puck in his own end. Quick shot. The centerman glide into position.
position. Grandlin's won the draw here in their own zone. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. Looking for that go ahead goal here as the play is underway in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Layton's been the most valuable player in this game, James. I mean, he's been so busy. They're lucky that this game is still tied. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. Philadelphia is looking to break out. And that's knocked away by Crosser. Gives him a jolt with that hit. Goes right to the crease. And he opts to wait for more support. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Huge steal in his own end. Now a quick pass to Farabee. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Dropped him in the open ice. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Well, certainly was lined up perfectly. Body on body, weight distributed right in there. Quick pass to Atkinson. And he slides it quickly to Richards. Textbook poke check by Koivu. He says, let's get physical in that play. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look. And he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Puck sent over to Sandheim. Nice poke check. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. The Flyers have it against the wall. And a solid save there as we play on. On the attack along the boards. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Moves the puck up to Lawton. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Denies him with the pad. Grabbed along the boards by Konechny. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Couturier. The Flyers go to work on offense. And he rings the post! The Flyers looking to break the tie here, and they ring another one off the post. So frustrating, James. Poked away in the neutral zone by Hag. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. Handles that one. Quick shot. There's another stop. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. Works it across to Niskanen. Picked up along the boards by Hayes. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. Shot! Oh, it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. And he takes the feed. Slides it diagonally to Michael. And sends it just out of reach. along the wall by Pronger. And some textbook body contact there. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Moves it to Burns. Takes it across the blue line. Uses the force on that hit. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. 
More than half the period has expired. It's all tied up. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Hooked away in the defensive end. Passes it to Faraby. Big hit. Out of midair, he slots it down to the ice. Quick feed to Johns. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Flyers carry it along the wall. Denies him! This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Slides it quickly to Richards. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Here's the pass. It's gone! opponent weaving in and out. Sometimes you think it's showboating, James, but all it is is manipulating his opponent to get the lane that he wants. You know that he's going to deliver a pass. You just got to be ready for it. Philadelphia's gone up by one here late in period number two. Now to see if they can build on this when they get to the third. Well, that one to pounce right off this face-off, James. They've had a ton of urgency in the flat last few shifts, and they found a way to get the go-ahead goal here. They're going to need to really work hard to hold the lead because you know that their opponent, they're going to have a bit of urgency here. Oh, how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that. Well, you do, especially when you get those grade-A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But, man, I think... Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. Lumps the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one-goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this... Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. And that's blocked. A chance of Burke. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. And that was turned away. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but looked at that hit and it just took me off guard. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Philadelphia's penalty killers get a hold of it. All alone! Oh, that just looked like indecisiveness there, Cheryl. Yeah, and a lack of confidence as well, James. When you're in all alone, you have to know exactly what you want to do and you have to play with authority. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Pulls it to the middle, and it goes off a stick and off target. And he takes the dish. And he slides it quickly to Granlin. Progress lugging the puck. Minnesota's got it now. He scores! And there it is! The kid's got his first! Well, that's a way to take a breath, isn't it? You get introduced to the game and you're very first, and you find a way to convert for your first goal. That's a pretty amazing start, James. Just a great job all the way around net front, James. Battling for position, quick hands to be able to get on the puck and quickly release it and have an accurate shot at that in tight. Great goal. Well, I can only imagine that those jitters have to be all gone now. First game and potting his first goal here, Pounder. Uh, I mean, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? And it's a good way to get started, not just settling the nerves in, but how about your confidence? You're a young player, you're trying to make an impression, and you score your first goal, and you can see how happy everyone is for him on the bench. Gives him nothing in front. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save, no rebound to boot. Here in the later stages of this period, 
We are all tied up in this one. The Flyers come up with the defensive zone draw. Here they come up along the wing. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Giroux. Plays the body into that play. And it's a quick pass to Johns. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Voracek. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Minnesota's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. He's got a step and he hangs on just as time runs out. 40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths and then it's on to period number three next. Are you looking to impress at your next group event? Then we tell one of our luxury boxes with great news. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. And we are underway here in the third, still evened up. Will we see that go-ahead goal here? Tries to the sweet spot, and that's blocked in traffic. And now he passes up to Pronger. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick pass to Voracek. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. The Wild have the... Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Got to give some credit to the shooter here, James, for finding the hole, and that hole is low glove side. I think that the goaltender, he wants... The Wild have to be playing with confidence now here in the third period, and they've got that one goal lead. Oh, and there'll be a lot of coaching now because it's about managing the game, James, knowing exactly where they are and finding a way to finish it off for the victory. Looks to make a play over to Richards. Here they come on the attack. Shot! And that goes off course off a body. They go on the attack from the left side. Reaches out and uses the stick. Here he is with a backhander. Made the stop on the play. Well, leadership comes in different ways, and typically he scores on these opportunities, and he elevates his entire team. Well, the goaltender shut the door and didn't allow it to happen. To his teammate. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. They go on the attack through center. Broken up by Sanheim. Moves the puck across to Niskanen. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And there's a save. Looks to pass it to John. Puck scooped up by Make Kane. Minnesota's got it along the wall. And that's taken by the defense. And now he moves it quickly to Lawton. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. The Flyers gain possession. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Close save and the play continues. Here's a chance, sends it in front, and that's stopped. Myers wants to respond here by getting his club back in this game. Let's see if he can use his zone ability to generate some offense here, guys. Grandlin's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Handles the puck. Here's a short pass to Hall. Makes his presence known on the ice. Here he is in close. Nice save from point blank range. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Fires it. No room for that one to get through. Now a quick pass to Giroux. He got all of that one. Takes it at center. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? 
The goaltenders are the last line of defense. Scores! Making a hat trick in the first of the rookie's career! Wow, what a great night and a moment that he'll never forget. And his entire team coming over to him and really celebrating with him. He's on the road. Well, this is just a perfectly executed shot, James, as he drops into his butterfly position. He's trying to make himself as big as possible and get his blocker on it. He just can't catch up to it. You know, I'm amazed at... You just look at the body language, the reaction from the players and teammates. They all know, right? Everybody's kind of aware of everybody's stats, aren't they, Cheryl? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you know how difficult it is to get one goal, James, let alone three when you're a rookie, and everyone really feeling it. The puck's just finding him. It's all around him tonight. Gets in front of him by Leno. Leighton's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. Quick feed to Pronger. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Michael's got it in the defensive end. Sends the pass over. Breakaway is perfectly executed, James. He knows his bread and butter is his great shot. He sees an opening and he takes it. Minnesota's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's a here we go. They're dropping the gloves. You knew this was going to come after they hit their star player. Well, if you're going to touch the star players, you're going to have to answer the call. They certainly don't want their top players in a fight. So here they come, the enforcer. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. They make their way over to the penalty box, still chirping one another. You can see that it was testy out there, but they'll go back to the box, and they'll sit for five. Well, with all that said and done with, we still got a game to play, and face-off here set to resume action. Koibu's won the draw at center. Moves it to champion. Let's move to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Denies him again. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. And he makes the save. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Minnesota's got the puck here in the open ice. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Penrod's really laboring out there. Looks like he's going to make it to the bench, but he's struggling to finish this shift. Niederreiters gain the line and on the attack. Here's a blast! Oh, that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. Slides it over with pace to Prosser. He got all that hit. Moves it over to Lawton. Prosser stick snaps and is off to the bench to get a new one. Gets back into the play quickly. Here's a chance on the attack. And that's blocked from someone in front. And now it's grabbed by Hag. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Quick pass to Burns. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Niederreiter. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Moves it over to Farabee. Slick feed. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Farabee. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Now he takes it over the line. 
Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Myers. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Vortex known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. That opportunity is rejected. Pass to Giroux. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Great use of the stick to poke it away. And that's poked away by Voracek. And the puck's knocked loose. Passes it over to Koivu. Here's a short pass to Pitlick. Gets a glove on it to make the save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. And Ross just trying to get back on his feet here. I mean, that was a top hit right through the body. I'm sure he's still feeling the effects of that one. Who had the edge? Our old stand by with the answer. Crisp's efforts have given this team a chance to win this game, guys. Given our matchup, it's hard not to give him the edge. Collins gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Flyers have it now. Passed up ahead. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Angles it over to Scandella. Niskanen's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Really Close face so fast and just taken down. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Feeds the puck to Hayes. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Silverberg's night one for the history books. What an evening offensively. Well, I mean, how many more times can you hit the back of the net? I mean, he was so dialed in. Sometimes when it's working, it's just working, James. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski, and we will see you next time from ringside.